This is Modern Photo Solutions, helping you find modern solutions for life's photographic journey. Taking you from photo overwhelm to photo fabulous in just a few taps. Your story matters. It's time to start telling it. Welcome to Modern Photo Solutions. I'm Steph Clay, and I am so excited to be here with you today. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. You might be someone like me that has tens of thousands of photos, and if you're like most people, you don't know where all of them are, let alone have the ability to show them to people or to share them. You have so many photos and nothing to show for it. I get it. Imagine having all of your photos automatically organized for you in a way that is completely searchable without tagging, without sorting of any kind. Imagine having all of your photos automatically sorted chronologically into files and folders. Automatically. You don't have to do anything. Imagine having movies automatically created from your photos and videos that you can download and share with friends and family. Guess what? This exists. Are you ready? Google Photos. What? I know. Google Photos. All right. So I know that my Apple people are going to be asking me, how is this different from iOS 10? I go over all of this in detail in my free class that you can grab by going to modernphotosolutions.com forward slash photofab or by texting photofab, all in one word, photofab to 44222. And you will get hooked up with that free class. But just to go over it briefly here, Google Photos is smarter than iCloud Photos because it's machine learning. And the machine learning is based on the millions of photos that everybody is storing on Google Photos servers. The iCloud Photos is based only on the learning that it can do from your own photos, looking in your own photos and figuring things out. And so it doesn't have the reference points from a whole lot of other photos to figure out what's in the photos. Apple made their machine learning phone-based and Google made their server-based, cloud-based. I love Apple and I love Apple products. I love my iPhone, but I don't trust them as my main photo backup because I've had issues with them in the past, where if I didn't have my photos in other locations, I would have lost everything because I thought it was being backed up into iCloud Photos and it wasn't, or because they changed things too. I suggest having your photos stored in at least three different locations. And I really think that two of those should be cloud-based. I store all of my phone photos in five cloud-based locations, and all of my other digital photos are in two cloud locations, and I'm currently moving them all into Google Photos as well. I don't use hard drives anymore because I have spent so much time over the years putting all of my photos onto three different external hard drives and computers, and on three different occasions in the last about six years, I have had every one of those computers and or hard drives die within weeks of each other. What are the odds of that happening one time, let alone three times? I know. So I just have decided that I refuse to spend any more money on external hard drives. And actually, my computer, I think, is better off for it, for not having all of my photos or as many photos stored on it as what I used to try and jam on there. I've been using Dropbox as my primary cloud photo storage for two years now. I've been using Dropbox since, I think, since it was born. I was a very early adopter of Dropbox, and I use it for my everything, like everything. It's been my primary cloud backup location for my photos for two years now, and I've never lost a photo, not once, since I started using it. 
If I would have just been using hard drives, then all of my photos would be gone. And if I would have just been using iCloud, all of my photos would be gone as well. So I love cloud storage in case that was any question at all. And I really, really do love Google Photos. And so I will continue to use Dropbox, but Google Photos is quickly becoming my main number one. I love it more than anything go-to source for all things photo. So a little overview of how it works. Again, I go over this in a lot of detail in my free class called Photo Fabulous. So be sure to grab that by going to modernphotosolutions.com forward slash photofab or by texting all one word together, photo fab, to the number 44222. If you're driving, please don't text and drive at the same time. Pull over and text that. It's really easy. You just text it and then they send you back a response. You enter in your email address and then you're good to go. And you'll get a link in your email to sign up for that class. I know that sometimes you're listening to podcasts while you're working out or doing other things and it's difficult to get to your computer. So that's why I include that there. Please note that standard text rates, all of that good stuff, it applies. Okay, so Google Photos is a phone app and a web app. This means that you can access it through the app on your phone or you can access it through any web browser on your computer, on your phone, on your tablet wherever, your laptop, wherever there's an internet browser, you can access Google Photos. And you do that by going to photos.google.com. You set up the app, and again, I go over this in the class, but you set up the app, and then it will back up all of your photos from your phone into the cloud. One thing to note is that it is not making a copy of the photos and storing them in the app on your phone. It's putting them in the cloud. And then whenever you want to access those photos, you will need to be connected to internet some way, somehow, whether it's through your data plan or through Wi-Fi, that's how you access those photos. So it's not going to be a memory hog, but you do need to have internet if you want to be able to get to them. Another thing to note is that you do need to give your photos time to get moved into the cloud by Google Photos before you start trying out some of the really cool features that I'm going to tell you about in just a minute. I had on my phone when I started using Google Photos, I had 15,000 photos on my phone and it took a good month for all of that to get backed up into Google Photos over the Wi-Fi at my house. So of course it wasn't backing up anytime I left. It was only backing up when it was connected to the Wi-Fi when I was at home. You can also upload other digital photos if you want to by going to in your on your computer in your browser, going to photos.google.com, and then you can upload any photos that you want to have backed up there as well. The reasons that I love Google Photos, number one, it's free. Okay, there are some details that you need to look at, but most people on most phone cameras, especially iPhones, are going to be just fine using the free Google Photos backup, but that's all covered in my class. Google Photos does the work and I don't have to remember anything. It automatically, every time it senses that it's connected to my Wi-Fi at home, that I've left, I've come back, it automatically starts backing everything up. I don't have to go in there to turn it on. I don't have to use the app for it to decide that it's going to start backing up. It just does it all. I love Google Photos because of the assistant. The assistant, which I call Sissy because she's brilliant and amazing, she makes stuff for me. She makes collages and movies and albums. She's really smart and she just figures out how I want things put together. Sometimes she doesn't get it perfectly right and so I do need to change things up, but usually she does a really good job. Google Photos organizes everything for me automatically, even into files and folders chronologically. All of my photos files and folders chronologically, and I didn't have to do anything. The search function in Google Photos is unbelievably smart. In my class, I do a little demonstration on searching for pineapples and all of the amazing things that it pulls up. Real pineapples growing in bushes, cans of pineapple juice, and even Project Life cards with pineapples on them. It will blow your mind. I am not even kidding. It will blow your mind, the search function. It's incredible. Because it can search on my Project Life cards and my pocket scrapping cards, it organizes all of my Project Life cards for me automatically and all of my other digital supplies. I can find anything just by running a search. I don't have to do anything. 
I also love that it will remind me, it'll pull up photos and different things that happened a year ago and say a year ago today, this is what happened. I love seeing that. It will also go way back in time and create movies from really old photos that were taken around the same date and pop them up every once in a while too. It's amazing. There, This is just the top level, the high level overview of what Google Photos can do. It's incredible. It's amazing. I love it. I would love it if you would go to modernphotosolutions.com forward slash photofab and take that free course. It's only 30 minutes long to cover everything. And then shoot me an email if you have any questions. I will be jumping on Facebook to do some Facebook Lives or possibly webinars, depending on what people would prefer to go over questions, because I know there probably will be some. But I can't wait for you to jump into it. It is incredible, and it's going to change your life. It really will change your life. No more not knowing where to find photos. You can find exactly what you need, when you need it. For example, I was shopping with my mom, and I needed to get a shirt that matched a skirt. And I was trying to explain to her what this skirt looked like. And I knew that it was a yellow skirt and that it was kind of a paisley-ish pattern. It wasn't paisley, but it was sort of paisley-ish. So I thought, I'm just going to type that in there. So I typed in yellow paisley and it pulled the skirt up. It pulled the photo up that I had of the skirt immediately. And I was able to show it to her and she was able to help me find a shirt that matched. You will never have to spend lots of time searching for photos ever again. So be sure to check it out. You can also grab the class by texting the word photofab, all one word, to 44222. I would love for you to be able to jump into this class and really have your life changed as far as photos are concerned. I'll see you next time on Modern Photo Solutions. (music)